China's relationship with South Korea has soured over the last few years due to China's heavy-handed approach and overbearing attitude. According to data from the Pew Research Center, about 75% of South Koreans had a negative view of China in 2020, more than double from 37% in 2015. Recent reports suggest that South Koreans' negative perception of China is due to various factors from history, food, security and politics. Chinese state media has repeatedly depicted the ancient Korean kingdoms of Kukuryo and Balhi as part of its own national history. Kimchi, a fermented cabbage dish ubiquitous in Korea, is served almost at every meal and the Koreans consider it as a national dish. China has created its own version of kimchi, named Pakoai, and also set an industry benchmark, angering Koreans. In 2017, Beijing objected to the Todd missile defense deal with the U.S. and its deployment, and waged an economic battle against South Korea. Chinese tour groups to South Korea were halted and stores belonging to Lada, the South Korean conglomerate, in China were shut down. South Korea's K-pop musicians, wildly popular among Chinese, were forced to cancel their tours in mainland China. As a result of these high-handed and unilateral measures by China, South Korea lost billions of dollars. In the 2022 Winter Olympics, China tried to appropriate hanbok, a traditional Korean dress, during the opening ceremony, outraging South Koreans. Two South Korean short track speed skaters were disqualified for moves deemed illegal, allowing a pair of Chinese skaters to advance to the finals. The March 9, 2022 presidential elections have become the bone of contention between China and South Korea. Presidential candidates have been overtly expressing anti-Chinese sentiments and are arguing for a harder line on Beijing.